In this video, I will be demonstrating how to do a split tender transaction. And split tender means that the customer would like to pay with more than one form of payment. So let's start with the hang tag. I have a Sally Seamstress top for $195. Sally Seamstress is ID number is um, 835. So I'm going over to the last screen again. The bottom row second blue box says 835SS for Sally Seamstress. I will enter the $195, hit plus. Now I'm going to scroll down and the code for top is 35, so it's right here in the middle on the right. And I'm going to scroll down, put in her inventory number, which is 19. Then I'll go, oh actually, for um, just for demonstration, let's say this is purchased by a fellow member and we're going to apply the um, member discount. So at the bottom where it has Potomac Fiber Arts Gallery member discount, 10%, I'm going to touch that and the blue um, button indicates that, I, that it's on. So I'm going to now hit add at the upper right and we see that we have all of the necessary information. Sally Seamstress, 195. Uh, item classification 35 top, inventory number 19, and we've applied the 10% discount. So I'm going to hit charge 186.03. So let's say this is being purchased by fellow member Wendy Weaver, and she would like to pay with $100 cash and put the rest on a personal check. Um, so, and I just want to mention that this can be used for any two or even more forms of payment. So if a customer wanted to split an amount on two credit cards, you can do that. If they were paying part in cash, part in credit card, any, any combination will be fine. Um, what we have to do first is hit the split button at the top upper right. And now this will allow us to choose any form of payment and select the amount for that form of payment. So I'm going to start with the $100 cash and it comes up with the full amount, 18603, but we touch the number where the number is and now it will allow us to enter a custom amount. So I put in the $100 and I press tender. And then I'm going to confirm $100. And it's going to give a receipt for each segment of the transaction. I'm going to say no thanks and then we're going to say done the upper left with this part of the transaction and it will automatically come up with on the next screen the remaining balance. So now it still says $86.03 remaining and once again you could use any form of payment going forward. We're going to hit add other and do this again as a personal check. So the first thing you need to do is enter that balance then you select check and we scroll down to optional note and we would put um, the customer name Wendy Weaver. And Since we actually applied a discount here let's put Wendy Weaver's number in as well which is 802. Oops, 802. And then we hit tender and then again it processed that and I'm going to say no thanks for the purposes here, but I'm going to show you the receipt. I'm going to go, um, let's go to the main menu. I'm going to hit the lower left, go to activity, and I'll show you what the receipt looks like for that split tender transaction. So I'm here. Uh, if you look at the right side, the left side is showing all the activity from past several days. The right side is showing this receipt. If you were to print it, as it would print as one receipt here showing the check with a receipt number and the cash part with a, with a separate receipt number even though you can print this now as one receipt. Um, so all of the information and how the tender was split will show on that receipt. So that is how you do a split tender transaction and again it works with any two or more forms of payment. Um, if the customer asks to pay like, like that, thanks.